good morning dear class 7 students dear students let us continue the fourth chapter with the topic humidity humidity is the moisture contains in the atmosphere at a given temperature and volume volume it is a part of the water cycle air which has high percentage of water vapor or moisture is lighter than the dry air at the same temperature and pressure and therefore fall in density of air the rate of decrease in the regularly 6 degrees celsius for every 1000 millimeter of ascent this is known as normal lapse of rate latitude horizontally across the earth's surface as a distance from the equator increases Temperature falls due to increased inclination of the sun's rays and the curvatures of the earth's surface. Earth is therefore divided into three thermal zones latitudinally. So, tend to rise upward. This eventually lead to saturations and condensation. Atmospheric humidity is of two types absolute and relative the absolute humidity measured in gram cc or kilogram is actually amount of water vapor in a given parcel of air at any particular temperature relative humidity measured in percentage is the ratio between the actual amount of humidity or water vapor present in a given parcel of air at any given temperature to the maximum moisture carrying capacity of same volume of air at the same temperature. The higher the percentage of RH is air in air, the greater in the chances of precipitations to occur. However, Increase in temperature reduces the RH level and vice versa. Now, precipitations. The water cycle or the hydrological cycle consists, consists of process in which the water is lost from the earth's surface through evaporation in the form of atmospheric humidity and also the and also the various methods in which water is returned to the earth is solid or liquid form to complete the cycle. So in precipitations what we see that the water cycle takes place and the water which are there in the rivers, ponds and so on, they go to sky in the process of atmospheric uh, atmospheric humidity or we call in the process of evaporation and they fall in the on the earth either in the form of snow or either form of rain water is returned to the earth either in the form of precipitations in the form of condensation forms of participate uh, Precipitations includes all these processes in which atmospheric moisture is returned to earth is solid, snowfall or hail or liquid rain states and is seen falling from sky. Now forms of condensation. This is another way in which water cycle is completed. It is important especially in the form of cloud which gives rise to various forms of precipitations and helps in weather study. Clouds are formed when droplets of the condensation water vapor causes around dust particles in the atmosphere. Clouds are classified into different types based on their form, shapes, height and movement. Each type of cloud affects the weather and sky conditions differently. Following are the four major types of clouds. So let us see first 
the name bot tested cloud these are true rain clouds they usually appear thick dark and black which we see these days in the sky these clouds generally form below 20 km in the atmosphere and these are also low cloud formed at height less than 2 km okay stratus clouds resemble streets as these are usually spread out over and cumulus cloud these are medium clouds that generally form at height of 3 to 6 km cumulus cloud or woolly and cauliflower shaped and white or gray in the sky now cirrus cloud these are high clouds generally formed between 6 and 12 km in the atmosphere cirrus clouds are feathery fibrous in shape now let us talk about the atmospheric pressure the downwards force exerted by a column of air on the earth surface under the effect of gravity is known as atmospheric pressure it is measured with references to the sea level which records normal atmospheric pressure of 1013 mb or 76 cm of the mercury column in the liquid barometer atmospheric pressure is inversely related to temperature humidity level and altitude altitude means height this means warm air is lighter than cold air moist air is lighter than dry air and pressure at higher altitude is lower than at low lower altitude now areas of lighter pressures experiences low pressure conditions and our area of higher pressures are higher pressures zones these pressures zone controls air circulation especially wind movement wind always blow from area of high pressures to area of low pressures in the lower layers of the troposphere now winds the horizontal movement of the air from area of the high pressures to areas of low pressure in the lower layer lower layer of the atmosphere is known as the wind winds vary in their speed so winds could be in different speed okay ranging from a gentle or moderate breeze to a violent storm the wind speed is determined by a pressure difference between two regions wind moves from an area of high to low pressures and from a cold to a hot region wind speed is measured in knots or kilometer now difference between weather and climate weather and climate are interrelated to each other elements that decide the daily weather are used in the long term to determine the overall climate of a region for example the city of bombay experiences warm sunny weather in winter and warm and rainy weather in the monsoon as such weather conditions are observed in most areas in india the country is said to have a tropical monsoon climate following are the major differences between weather and climate weather it is the conditions of the atmosphere experienced in the place for a short period so weather is experienced only for very short period it generally prevails over a small area and weather actually uh, is seen in a small area it is temporary and even changing and weather changes time to time it doesn't remain in the same form in the same uh, condition it varies on a daily and even on a hourly basis so like these days in the sky we see it is a rainy season and then sometimes we see that the weather immediately changes in the morning we experience sun 
but after some times you will see in the cloud in the sky and after some times there is a rain in the uh, from the clouds so this way the weather changes every time it doesn't remain for long period now climate it refers to the general weather conditions as observed for a long period of time so climate remains in a particular area for a long period of time it prevails over a large area and this climate remains or covers a large area it is permanent and remains stable for a long period of time and climate especially it remains for long period as a permanent condition it usually takes a minimum of 30 years of recording to determine the general climate of a region so in a particular area the climate remains almost more than 30 to 40 years so dear students this is the points which we have just gone through so you study these all points and uh, understand the points now measuring the weathers the weather stations a weather station is a place where the elements of weather such as temperature rainfall humidity air pressure wind directions and velocity sunshine and cloud cover are measured and recorded as uh, accurately as possible so in the weather station we see that the weather conditions are measured it may be a ten temperature it may be a rainfall humidity air pressure and so on as weather station is a place on an open piece of land and it contains the following instruments thermometer ideally kept in a stevenson screen a rain gong okay barometer wind vane and a new meter and sunshine recorder whatever instruments are used ideally they should have good exposures that is they should be seated away from the building fans trees other obstacles so so whatever instruments like we have here stevenson screen or uh, rain gong barometers they should be kept in an open place not under the trees or under the buildings so when they are in the open place they can nicely record the weather of the particular day a few things to keep in mind while setting up a weather stations are thermometers should be placed in a shade so thermometers should be placed in a shade means in a shadow ideally they should be in a stevenson screen or slider box if this is not available they could be hung on a shaded wall or a fence rain gogs should be away from walls fence and bushes as they affect the amount of rain caught in the rain gong so rain gong should be kept in the open place so that they may easily measure the uh, rain speed and the amount when instruments should be well clear of walls fence and houses as they cause idols that spoils the reading and makes the directions difficult to assess so the wind instruments should be also be kept in an open place so that they may easily measure the wind okay so through this wind speed the um, uh, through this wind speed measurement the wind speed may be measured nicely now we have it is important that reading are taken at the same time each day so these all our weather conditions should be read out or measured every day and the proper uh, we call the measurement should be announced or written in the newspapers the stevenson screen is a wooden box standing on a four legs at a height of 
almost 120 meters so you can see the wooden box stevenson wooden box and this should be standing at the height of 120 centimeter the skin is built so that the shared temperature of the air can be measured the sides of the box are slatted to allow free entry of air so you can see in this both the parallel side you can see the open areas are there so the reason of this uh, is that the free air may enter easily inside the box and the roof is made up of double boarding to prevent the sun's heat from reaching the inside of the screen so the the roof this is the roof which is very nicely covered with the you would call the double boarding so that the sun rays may not enter from the sky okay insulation is further improved by painting outside of the screen white so that reflect much or reflect much of the solar energy the screen is usually placed instruments kept inside the stevenson screen include some maximum minimum thermometer and wet and dry bulb thermometer called hygrometer instruments kept outside the stevenson screen includes a rain gong when when to determine wind directions and an anemometer to assess wind speed to us means to measure wind speed so dear students we will talk up to this point today and in the next class we will continue the another point that is measuring temperature